guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you my very easy, incredibly moist, and super delicious carrot cake. I'll start by sifting together 2 cups of flour, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 1 teaspoon of baking soda, Half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of allspice powder, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Next, in a separate large mixing bowl, combine together three large eggs, one cup of vegetable oil. Half cup of granulated sugar, one cup of brown sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Mix using your stand mixer or electric hand mixer over medium speed until well combined. Now it's time to add the flour mixture. Continue mixing until your batter is well blended. Once your batter is ready, you may now add 2 cups of grated fresh carrots. And then add half cup of crushed pineapples. This fruit keeps my carrot cake incredibly moist. Next, add half cup of dried cranberries. You can also use raisins. Next, I'm adding one cup of chopped walnuts. You may use any kind of nuts of your choice. Next, I prepared two pieces of 8 inch round cake pan oiled and lined with parchment paper and I'm dividing my batter to two equal portions. Bake these at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 45 minutes. After 40 minutes, my cakes are out of the oven. I will let this cool down in the pan for a couple of hours before I transfer these in my cooling rack. Now my cakes are now in room temperature, then I can transfer them into the cooling rack. Remove the paper from the bottom of your cake and let it rest for about a couple of hours or so. Some people would wait about a day old before they actually frost their cake. But I couldn't wait that long so I'm going to assemble my cake now. So I'm going to frost my first layer bottom side down with my cream cheese frosting. Next, I'm going to put my second layer top side down. Again, using a spatula, spread your cream cheese frosting covering the top and sides of the cake. If you have extra frosting, you may transfer them into your piping bag and decorate your cake. If you want to learn how I made this cream cheese frosting, you can check out the recipe in my other video, Red Velvet Cupcakes Canada Day Special. I'm also going to decorate my cake with my handmade fondant carrot cake toppers. And for finishing touches, I'm going to add more chopped walnuts in the middle of my cake. 
Here's our finished product! Mouth-watering, incredibly tasty carrot cake. So easy to make, all from scratch and fresh ingredients. Try it to love it. Happy baking!